I say, what's better than one Audi TT? Two Audi TT. Welcome back to another video. This is episode five in the Audi TT Mark One build. Last weekend, I met up with another YouTuber, Andy Charger. I'll put a link in the description to his YouTube channel. Great Mark One stuff on that. So check him out. Proper Audi cup. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah it's um it's got all the gear. It's got a CD player. Oh mate, it's graphic. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a, it sounds like a feeder song, doesn't it? It's got a CD player. <laughs> okay, so this video, I'm gonna go through some of the parts I've brought so far for the Mark One projects, and it is starting to build up. So I thought it'd be nice just to go through some of the parts with you of what we got, so you can see what is coming up in future episodes. So this is the pile of parts. So what we do now, we'll go through the parts and we'll see what's actually in the boxes and just go through them and see what they are. Right, so on top, what we have so far is We'll be fitting the Badger 5 V3 intake pipe because it's got no restrictions in it and look how fat it is. It just goes down to that for the turbo. So we'll definitely be fitting that very soon. But along with that, we obviously we've got other bits for the induction because we want this thing to get as much air in as we can. So what else we've got? is the Pro Ram induction kit. I got there some Cloud9 Customs. So this is the cone that we'll have coming off the Badger 5 tip. And what you get, I'll put links in the description for all the parts so you can see where to get them from. So let's check this out. Right, so. Ooh. So in this kit, you obviously get the big filter, which has got a massive hole on the back of it. But you've got this adapter. Obviously this goes in there. This is an 80 mil, because it's a 225, and the 225 maths are 80 mil, so you need you need the 80 mil one. So you get that in the packaging with the silicon pipe to go off the math to get to this. And a couple of Jubilees. Also got the Cloud9 custom heat shield. So that'll make it all look pretty nice and smart under the bonnet. Not very exciting in this box. In episode two, we changed the micro switch in the driver side and the passenger side started playing up. So I just done the same thing again. I just brought the whole unit just to replace the whole unit. 
because of the micro switch that obviously is playing up. As you know, from one of the episodes, you can see it seems to drop when you open the car from the inside, but from the outside, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna put that on and hopefully that will sort it out. So we'll get that on pretty quick. So another product from Cloud9 Customs, we have the catch can kit. So we can get rid of the PVC system. So we won't worry about leaks for that in the future. So we've got the Cloud9 Customs catch can. All looking good. So you've got like the baffle. So obviously as the stuff comes in this side, it filters back up through the baffle before it goes back into the engine. So it stops putting all that nasty stuff back in there. And also I upgraded the kit to get the billet and brass connector for the, um, the breather bit at the bottom because they're normally plastic and apparently they just perish and break. So obviously after putting this one in, we will not be having those problems again. So we've got that to fit in a video and you get a load of other fixings, TPs, Jubilees, P-clips to hang it to mount it and stuff like, basically everything you need to actually fit the catch can is in this. Gravity. So, in here, we have a new crossover pipe. Obviously, it's all de-baffled, it hasn't got the baffle on this. I didn't go for a polished one, because I thought I'm gonna go for quite a dark sort of theme um, under the body. I'm gonna go for like black hoses and stuff like that. But as you see, it's got sort of like a, a wrinkled sort of effect. I don't know if that's picking up in the camera. So we've got that to go on, which I think is gonna look pretty good. As you see, no baffles, just straight down. So happy days, we we'll get that on. From gravity again. We have a front mount intercooler. I know a lot of think goes that way up actually. I know a lot of people going, oh you should have gone four, you should have gone HD, you should have done this, should have done this. But this was so cheap that I thought it's worth a go. And if it's no good, I can change it. But I got this for like 270 quid. And it's gone back up in price now, but they had a discount on. And I thought, why not have a go here? And not only do you just get the intercooler, you get all the hard pipes around the silicon. So it should, it's actually made for the Mark 1 TT, so it should fit pretty well. I mean, these were 60 mil inlet. And the quality of it, do you know so? I don't think it's actually that bad. So I'll show you what else you get in this kit as well. So let me just put that there carefully. So you get these hard pipes as well. So you get two of these. So these should fit straight up to the car with no cutting or no nothing. And they've got a nice little lip to hold the silicon pipes on. So you get two of those. They're different from each other. So obviously the sides where it goes up are gonna be slightly different to each other, but that's pretty good. Cut the silicon elbows for it, which is all good. Some nice thick like jubilees, the ones with the bolt things on it. So hopefully we'll have no silicon pipes popping off when we're boosting up going down the road. Then you just get a couple of mounting brackets as well. Comes with four brackets, so it gives you some options of some that are already pre-drilled there, or you get some that have already um, got basically, they've got pre-drilled there, but you can probably, I don't, I don't even know why they've given you two to be honest with you, but we'll find out when we fit this while we have these. I think they're slightly different shapes to each other. Maybe one will fit best than the other, I don't know. But we've got everything we need to fit that, so looking forward for getting all this on, because I can't wait to get all this on, because once we've got all this on, 
we can hit the dyno and see what power we've got from what it previously had. When we first got it, it was like 252 brake. So adding all these extra bits, the tip, the better induction kit, the intercooler, and getting a better map as well. So we'll probably go to um, Badger 5 and get remapped anyway because it's got a Revo Stage 2, but I just think it's a little bit of a poor map. I might be wrong. I just expect it's a little bit more of a Stage 2, because as you know, the car's already got a 3-inch downpipe, sports cat, and it's all Miltec system on it. So stay tuned to the videos. As you see, I build this Mark 1 up, obviously still get the MOT on it and fix a few other bits on it, but start putting some performance mods on as well. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.